shut down the, the quarterback sneaks out there. That's all I'm saying. Um, but no, <laughs> at the end of the day, um, now let me ask y'all this. Let's switch gears a little bit because this Bears offense has really been the talk of the town right now, playing well, second half, all of that. But you got to kind of focus in on the defense. Um, this defense right now to me is playing the best that we've seen a defense play here in Chicago since 2018. Facts. Takeaway numbers are ridiculous. And a big part of those takeaway numbers – is Jalen Johnson. Hey, um, pay that man. pay that man his money. Listen. Pay that I, I man was, his I money. was <laughs> the Lito, baby. His money, baby. I was probably the biggest uh you don't pay cornerbacks that don't take the football away. Yeah. They, like and and listen, I still believe that. I still stand on that. Um, you don't play cornerbacks that don't take the football away. I love the pass breakup numbers. I love the uh <laughs> the the coverage numbers. I love everything, right? Where it's like it's kind of – he leads the NFL in coverage sacks. People don't throw towards him. and They do. They throw at him. But, yeah, I, I love all of those. Mm -hmm. But Deion Sanders ain't Deion Sanders without getting a pick and then taking it back to the house at high step. Now we're seeing Jalen Johnson become the guy who can get the takeaways. Facts. I have nothing to say. Now. Hey, 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 money gun, money gun. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. cash in on some of the pick sixes. You, you missed two of them. You, you could have had two pick sixes, right? And maybe cash in on some of those. But beggars can't be choosers. And you know what? This was an, a defense that was begging uh, for somebody, anybody, anybody and their mama to play competent. And uh, you saw him come out and be able to play competent. Are you guys paying Jalen Johnson? Oh, expeditiously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Back in the drinks truck. Like, when a player goes out there and tells you, hey, pay me my money, I pay me, and he goes out there and proves to you that he needs to be paid, pay that man. Pay, cut the check. There's yeah. no reason to be, hey, listen, I need Ryan Poe's hands to not get cramps when writing checks and pay that man his money. <laughs> That's all I need him to do. That's all. Indubitably, <laughs> I, I think I think the 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 interesting part of this is, are you going to be able to pay him to keep him here long term? If I'm the Bears, I think the logical move next season, so that you can continue to add to this team, is the franchise tag him. Um, mm, no. Franchise tags usually piss people off. That that's why I'm saying don't do that. Don't yeah, do I that. wouldn't do that. <laughs> but I'm gonna be real with you. Here's why I say that. He's already pissed off. He already doesn't want to, right? He said he's not coming back to the table. He's already said, and, and it's not to say he doesn't like playing for the Chicago Bears or different things like that, but in theory, right, you've already burned that bridge and the entire NFL kind of burned a lot of those bridges because basically he went out and was like, this is what I'm worth. And the whole league looked at him and was like, no, you ain't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that, that makes it hard for me to think that Jalen Johnson is just going to play nice with everybody. And, and I want people to understand this. And, and John Yurkovich says this. Um, and it's such a key point. The Bears will have to pay more than everyone else to keep Jalen Johnson here. Because it's going to cost you more for me to deal with the disrespect that I feel like I was dealt. The rest of the NFL may be able to get him at one price. The Bears will probably have to go above and beyond on that price for them to keep him here. Because I don't think Jalen Johnson long term sees himself as a part of this defense. Now, maybe now things have changed, pressures here, you're starting to see the tide turn. Maybe that changes his mind. But I don't think you let him walk out of the door. He's a 26 year old DB. If you can't get him back to the to the table, you throw the you throw the tag on him. He's upset about the tag. I'm sorry. Here's here's your 20 or what is it? I think his his tag is. 18 million, something like that. Like, here's your 18 million. Show up, play. You get 18 million dollars. Here you go. Now, how many tax can you? You can only how many franchise tax? You can tag him twice, right? I mean, yeah, you one can one person the, twice. The second, the second tag is hey, that's you, crazy. You, you, you just pay him. Yeah, <laughs> you just pay him. Pay him. Or let him go. Like, like if you tag him twice, it just pay him. Like, stop, yeah. stop playing around with him. And what I will say is this, right? I, I love this tweet, right? Uh Daniel Greenberg sent this one out. He said earlier on in the season. Uh, Chicago Bears cornerback Jalen Johnson said that he wasn't trying to reset the cornerback market and contract negotiations, but he said on 670 to score today that with the way he has played so far this season, his view on the market has changed. That tells me 
that he's looking at the Chicago Bears and saying, hey, y'all want me? Mm-hmm. Pay me. <laughs> and I'm talking about pay me. Hold I, on. I'll, I'll you bet you Jalen Johnson, because he, listen, anywhere else, he's not resetting the market. He goes to any other team, I don't believe he resets the market. Hmm. The funny thing is, I, I have to ask this question because Pose put a lot of one year, uh, was it three one year contracts on some people? Uh, Yannick has a one year contract, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's there's and, a lot of there's a lot of just one year guys out there. So, yeah. how many of those people are you keeping? Yannick none, may not be probably a guy none of them, honestly. Of them. You need to upgrade the edge. I mean, so one, Tremaine Edmonds, you already, you already re signed the one one year guy. I would, oh, keep by the way, Jalen Johnson, 24, by the way, as well. Oh, oh, guess what? No, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah very man. young, very young, yeah, play, very young player. Hey, you pay that. You man. got to. Uh, Tremaine very Evans is not. You wouldn't keep Tremaine Evans. Is a it's this is a senior <laughs> oh, guy. Yeah, absolutely. What? Tremaine what is not a one year. Tremaine ain't on a one year deal. Tremaine He's not on a one year. No, yeah, we no, no, got, we got him. We paid him. Who yeah. who else is on a one year? I'm sorry. Is it? Wasn't Demarcus uh, Walker we, on a one year? Uh, Billings was on, I believe, a one year deal, but we resigned him already. We resigned him already. Yeah. So Yannick is the only person I'm thinking of there. Demarcus Walker. No? I think D Walk is here. Uh, D no D Walk is here long term. I yeah, believe. Yeah, you. He's he, he was. Um, I think he got a three year cheap deal, something like that. Let's see contracts. Three year, twenty one million. Yeah, he, he Green. Okay, I think King Book of the World, Rasheem Green. Yeah, Rasheem Green can go to. Yeah. Form, uh, Foreman is on a one year. That's true. Foreman is on a oh, one year. We need, we need to keep him running back. He's not gonna break the bank. Uh, we, we need two, to keep him. We got. Yeah, he ain't gonna break the bank. Uh, um, Mooney. He, let me get you two years, four million. Mooney ain't gonna break the bank. <laughs> you yeah, and running backs, man. You got DJ Moore again. Get you two years, a funny thing. Million, when is DJ bro? Moore's contract up? He's got DJ Moore, DJ Moore got three more years. He, he signed. He signed before he left. DJ Moore got three years already. He get nineteen or two more years of this. He he get nineteen million this year. Is uh, his new contract the same year that uh, Justin gets his? Yeah, they would line up. Is when his is they up, would so line up technically, know. yeah. If if the Bears pick up Justin's fifth year option, they would all line up together, yeah. But uh, his is DJ. a his DJ Moore is a reducing is a contract that continues to go um, down yeah. every yeah. year. It's Rocky got said Equinemia St. Brown is on his last year. Oh, he can go. Uh, he can go. Uh, let's heck of a blocker, <laughs> baby. Heck of a blocker. Hey, hey, listen. You need you need your blockers. Yeah, no, he can go. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. No, pay him. Pay J- pay Jalen his money. Are you resetting the DB market with him though? Yes, because I mind me, you got you have to. You have. I to. wouldn't mind it because hey. so so here here's here's the stats though. Because again, we're, if we're talking about PFF talking about he's one of the better coverage cornerbacks in the league. Well, he's backing it up now with the whole complete game. He's got four interceptions this year. Before this year, he only had one for his entire career. Yeah, which one? So, was so no, no matter no matter how mad he was about, oh well, I'm I'm supposed to get paid, and I, his stats are backing it up now. He's not just covering people and the ball's not getting it. He's taking away the ball to shorten the the, the field for the offense. Like he's doing his job on on every facet. 100%. I will say this though, Jair, by the way, twenty one million. So this 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 is your tops, right? And and. I guess if we're talking about him resetting, I think kind of where we were before was him as a maybe a James Bradbury or a, or a, a Travarius Ward kind of area, 15, 13 million, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Jair Alexander is 21 million. So you're giving him what? I pay him 21 million. I want to see what Jair million. has done this year. All right, we're well, going to give you one million more, baby. 22 <laughs> million? 20. You want to know why? I'm going to be honest with you. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And we I got it, that. though. We it's do a, got it. I'm not, I'm not saying don't, right? Like, to to the whole reason I didn't want to pay him is because he wasn't getting turnovers. If we're being 100% honest, um, he's now at a point where he's getting a turnover. He is. Uh, uh, um, could have had a few more. And he could have had a few more, and he's on pace where if the turnovers continue, he might finish the season with seven interceptions if he can keep this up. In eight weeks of play, this is not. This is like recent. This is like eight weeks of the season. This is not. Yeah, I mean, like a long. This is not a uh, uh, um, a full season of work. This is like the last eight weeks of the year. I guess this is the the analytic part of me that just asks this question. Like, 
what changed that allowed him to get these takeaways? Montez Sweat. There we go. So like we go. start yeah. finally getting yep. pressure. Yeah. You start finally getting pressure, pressure that allowed him to do his it job. It always starts up front. Yep. Yeah. So that so that the narrative before was where he's not doing this, he's not doing that, and I get it. Don't get me wrong; it's not coming to uh, you know any one of you all because it's 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 literally what was happening. He was he had the breakup numbers, but he wasn't getting the takeaways. But yeah. he wasn't also getting a lot of help to do that. Like everything kind of helps one another. Now that we're getting the pressure on the QB, he's getting his takeaways. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, Montez Sweat got you paid. Go ahead, you got to pay him. You got to pay yeah. him. Here, here's the uh, here's the stats for Jair. I just wanted to line it up just to make sure I am cool with the 21 mil at the least. Jair had only five interceptions for the whole season last year. Before that, he only had like one every season. Other than 2019, he had two. So and and he has zero this year. Ooh. So if you're talking about paying him 21 mil to kind of line up with him, I'm for it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's, that's just called an overpay. Jair had a five pick season and got and and uh, uh, was getting money. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, shout out to Jair. Glad he got it, but it, yeah, he had that. He had that. He had that Kyle Fuller year. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the way, shut up. Now, Bobby. granted, Jair's only played five yeah. games. <laughs> Jair's only played five games this year, so that that kind of plays he into that. that money, well. baby. He got that money. <laughs> he definitely got that money, bro. As soon as he got that money, he's gone. No, I'm just. I thought that. I thought that uh, he was. He was. I don't know. I can't deny what what I've seen. I guess if that's the case, it's just the question on would you reset the market with him? He's young, mm-hmm. right? Like he's he's young. He's young enough to where I'm paying you twenty to twenty three million now. Uh, maybe we can work it out where it's kind of like DJ Moore's contract, or and it doesn't you know boost up at a crazy amount, but. I mean, outside of that, you're talking about probably a six year deal for this guy. You're probably paying him till he's 30. Like you're paying him long term. I mean, that that deal. allows him to go back out, be able to get the uh, uh, hit the market one more time at 30 to be able to go out there and make play. Like, are you talking about a six year, 118 type contract? Yeah, bro. Mm. That's that's what you're talking about. That's how you reset the market. Yeah, it'd be more. Yeah. It'd be like 130 at 22, 23. Six, one, two, what, what's six, six times two is 12, six, 120. Six, 120. It's 130. So, I mean, 120 is, is literally 20 million a year for six years. Yeah. That's yeah. not resetting the market. He's still no, less. You, you, you're talking about probably paying him six years, 135. Yeah. Jesus. That's a lot yeah. Of money. That's why that's why I was saying, like, yeah, 22 million a year don't sound crazy, but then you start, hey, six year 125. How much is guaranteed? How much does it get in bonuses? What it is still it's not it doesn't that. sound it's crazy a lot of money. for about six total years. I think everyone when they hear that big number, they think they get it all up front. And unless it's guaranteed, <laughs> fully guaranteed, a lot of that money is not even there. Even then, the, the guaranteed money could be spread out a lot of different ways. Um <laughs> is he able to defer his salary like Shohei? Hey, that was crazy. <laughs> That was that has to be the biggest blow in sports. Like you don't get the biggest guy, and then he defers his contract to like ten million, two million. <laughs> hey, hey, I would feel so demoralized if I was like a diehard Cubs fan. Like, I oh, am. yeah, he I got am. I am and then I he am. deferred his money to help the team. <laughs> we lost on all fronts. I, ain't I would be lie. so sad. I, ain't I, I told I was rubbing boy. it in right now. I told y'all, boys, man, <laughs> that was never coming nowhere cold. <laughs> He flew to Toronto just for a trip to Toronto. That's all that was, bro. He wasn't doing nothing up there. They said, hey, you meeting with the team? No, I'm eating dinner, baby. Drake is up here. I'm I'm meeting Drake. I'm meeting with OVO. I'm not meeting with Toronto. (laughs) Hey, I don't the bad thing about it is he deferred it without interest, which is like that's even worse. Oh, yeah. That means he's not even trying to gain any extra money on top hey, of facts, it. Hey, facts, Torian. They making endorsement money. I mean, he, he don't need that. All right. Oh, he, he not worried about the he not worried about the, worried the about upfront money, man. Hey, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Showing love. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the page. Leave that five-star review. Y'all know what to do. It's the only channel. Talk of Chicago sports. How Chicago talks. Make sure you stay in tune with us, man.